Okay, today I'm working on my old uh, Craftsman chainsaw. It is 2.2 cubic inch, 16 inch bar. Um, the problem is it only seems to run whenever it is, um, whenever it's at an angle this way. Tip to the right. And I believe that the issue I replaced the fuel lines uh, a few years ago, and I believe the issue is with that. It was probably two years ago. Right after that, uh, my wife bought me that still saw that I did a video on just the other day. But um, it only wants to run properly when it is at an angle tilted to the right. And like I said, I think it is because it is, um, I think it has something to do with the fuel lines. Either I put the filter on the wrong fuel line. Uh, I replaced the, <clears throat> the fuel lines on my, uh, on a weed eater the other day. And I noticed that, uh. Noticed the fuel, the smaller fuel line was the one that uh, the gas flowed into the uh, carburetor from. I believe I have it backwards on this. So I'm going to check and make sure I have the gas, the fuel lines hooked up correctly. The way I'm going to do that is by pushing this primer ball right here and see which way the gas flows. If it's flowing in through the small line and out through the big line, then I do have them backwards. And if that's the case, I could switch them around really easy. And then it should run right and uh, not only at an angle. I opened up this, um, I opened up this gas tank and checked in there and I noticed that the smaller of the two fuel lines runs down to this side and it does and um, it's not weighted or anything so let's see you're not probably going to be able to see this but So far, I honestly can't tell. Okay. The fuel is going back in to the tank through the big fuel line. So you'll probably be able to see this actually. I flip this around. Okay, so do you see what's happening? Uh, the fuel is coming in through the small fuel line, which doesn't have the fuel filter on it. And then um, the pressure from the carburetor back into the uh, back into this this fuel tank is going through the filter. So whenever I replace this line uh, or these two fuel lines, I replaced them backwards thinking the bigger fuel line was going to be the um, fuel inlet line when it's actually the fuel 
pressure uh, outlet type line. So that was my fault. Like I said, I did this two years ago. I was already having issues with the chainsaw because one of the uh, one of the fuel lines broke, and I didn't know exactly which which um, which fuel line the uh, which fuel line this uh, folder went on. So I gotta get it out of here because it is on the vent line. There we go. That is out of there. I'm gonna set it right here for right now. And the smaller line, which I'm about to dig out of here, which I'm lucky that I left enough piping on here. To uh, I left enough piping on here to make this either line apparently. Now if I can just get this, and uh, here's the fuel filter. See this little ball right here? It's or this little I don't know small chunk of metal. It is weighted so it will always go to the lowest point. And when it's at the lowest point, that's where the fuel will be. That's why I was having issues, why it would only run um, when it was tilted to the right, because that's where this small fuel line was. i got to get a small pair of pliers and open that up. So that's where the small fuel line went, and uh, that's why it would only run if there was gas on that side of the fuel tank. So that makes sense. I was thinking about this saw uh, when I was doing the rest of the videos and doing um, that weed eater video because I had a feeling that this is exactly what I did. That's why when I got home today from work, I figured I would look into it. And I don't know if you could hear that, but it just fell down into where the fuel is. <clears throat> the other hose, uh, it can it's, it's longer, but it doesn't really matter because um, it's just the return that way. So, what I'm going to do now is put some fuel in this thing. Put it back together. Actually, let me put some fuel in and. Oh, well. Actually, I'm going to see if it'll. Hopefully, you could see that larger line that larger line is the one that's squirting the fuel now and that's what we want so and put some fuel on it, put it back together, and I'll try to start it up. Okay, so I got this all back together. Um, if you're having trouble, like I had, with the saw only wanting to run at an angle, um, either to the right or the left, to just, I guess, the map, uh, it only matters whatever side the fuel, if you do it wrong like I did, um, whatever side the small fuel line is on, that's what side it's going to run off of whenever it's tilted unless it's full. Um, check that fuel line. Smaller fuel line is the one that the filter should be on. Um, I'm going to start it up and see if that's, let's just make sure it runs. It hasn't been running in like two years.
good to go. Problem is solved. Uh, I'm almost positive. So the reason I wanted to get this running is because I want to take it up to my camp and I want to leave it there because we don't have a chain, a good chainsaw to leave there. Um, now that I have this problem figured out, uh, I'm not nearly um, as fed up with this chainsaw. I have an extra bar for it. Um, I have an extra bar for it. It has a case. Um, it's it's a really reliable saw. It's just the fact that. I had that issue with it, and uh, that kind of turned me away from this saw, especially since my wife bought me that still. But now that it's fixed, it'll be a perfect saw for up at the cabin, and that's where it will be going next weekend. Um, like I said, I do have this spare chain, which this chain looks pretty beat, but if I uh, if I don't ride my Harley to work tonight, I will take this chain and probably that chain, maybe stop at my dad's house and grab the chainsaw sharper or the, the chain sharpener and uh, I'll show you how to sharpen a chain. But hopefully it'll be nice tonight I can ride the Harley to work. Um, this does have one, one sharp chain and I do have a file if I just need to touch it up. So. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you in some way. Um, this little craftsman saw is pretty, uh, pretty reliable. Like the video, share, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.